five video set on threading text in InDesign. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about fully automatic text threading. So up to this point, what we've done is we've essentially got text imported, and then we've clicked the overset symbol, and with either, we've either manually placed the next text box, then clicked it again, next text box, or in the previous video, we talked about semi-automatic text threading, which allows us to basically just click, click, click to create each text box quickly. And in this video, we're going to talk about fully automatic text threading. So what I have is I have um, this text box inserted, and it's got a certain amount of overset text in it. And what I'd like to happen is I'd like it to tell InDesign, essentially, to just flow this text into the next columns as far as it needs to go to essentially make all the text visible. So I do have another page down here because there's quite a bit of text. So keep in mind, this is blank, and we're going to use fully automatic text threading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the over, this is with the pointer tool. I'm going to click the overset symbol. And then we know that holding alt gives me my semi-automatic symbol. We learned that in the last video. Holding down shift, you'll notice gives me a very similar icon, except it's a fully uh, solid, essentially flowing arrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to start just in the next column in this case. And I'm going to click. You'll notice what happens is it automatically flows the text from the first box to the second, to the third, to the fourth column, and then it's even gone down to the next page and continued on. So if I'm dealing with large documents and I have large amounts of text that I need to flow from one page to the next page to the next page to the next page, and it's a very basic layout, it's not too com complicated, well then fully automatic text threading can be a lifesaver. It can save you a ton of time when creating these um, essentially layouts. So to do fully automatic text threading, you simply hold shift once you have loaded the text into the pointer icon. To do semi-automatic, like we talked about in the previous video, that is done by just holding down alt.